What's up team, it's Rafael here and in this video I want to show you how to use the TradingView platform. So first of all you go to TradingView.com and create an account. Um, I'm having a monthly plan but you don't need that, you can use the free version, that's perfectly fine. The only thing that sucks on the free version is that ads are popping up all the time. But yeah, it's alright, you, it you can use it anyways. Um, next thing you need to do is search for currency pair like Euro US dollar or USD JPY or Great British Pound US dollar and then if you search it then click on full feature chart this is the chart that you are going to use 99.9% .9 of the time for your analysis and everything um, I'm going to show you how I use TradingView. I know there are a lot more features that I'm not going to talk about, so if you want to learn all the details about TradingView, Google it or use the help tool on the side or ask the support. Uh, I will only show you how I use TradingView and that's all you need to know. So the first thing I want to show you is the watch list. The watch list is the group of currency pairs that you are looking at to trade. You can search and add different markets to what to the watch list by clicking add symbol and then you search for the market. And you can delete the markets from your watch list by clicking the red X on the right side. And close the watch list to maximize the chart by clicking on the watch list symbol on the right side of the screen. And you can maximize the watch list by clicking the symbol again. You can switch between the different charts by using the up and down buttons on the directional pad of your keyboard. Um, the next thing I want to show you is the toolbar with all these different drawing tools that help you to analyze the chart. Uh, you can use the toolbar on the left side to select the tool that you want to use and you can select your favorite tools by clicking the favorite button on the right side of the name of the tool to add them to the favorite toolbar on the chart. Uh, this saves you a lot of time because you only need one click to use your favorite tools. Um, I have the horizontal ray in my favorite which is a horizontal line that I use to mark up clear horizontal levels. Uh, then I got the trend line which is a line that I can draw however I like on my chart. I use it to mark up trends. And then I got the arrow, uh, the arrow that um, which can be used to draw predictions of price movements on the chart. Um, then I use the rectangle aka the box that I'm using to mark up horizontal zones. And then I got the long and short position tool that helps me to calculate my risk and profit potential. It is very useful to know the risk reward ratio and to know how many pips the stop loss is to calculate the correct lot, si correct lot size for the trade. You can see on the right side of the chart the, um, the exact price for the stop loss and the take profit. The red number is the stop loss price and the green number is the take profit price. You can simply copy this number and use it in your MetaTrader 4 application to set up your trade. In the middle here you can see how many pips your stop loss or take profit is, um, which helps you to calculate your risk. If you are risking like $1 per pip and the stop loss is 50 pips, as you can see it here, then you have a risk of $50 and knowing how many pips the stop loss has makes it easy to calculate the risk and helps you to always have the correct lot size for your trades. And that's why I like to use TradingView. If you select a tool that you have already drawn or if you select a tool to draw something you can modify it as well. Whenever you select a tool you see a bar popping up and in this bar you can modify the tool as you like to have it on your chart. You can change the color or thickness and so on. Um, take your time to try everything out and it is very easy to understand. Um, another cool thing is the full screen mode. You can click on that button on the top to enter the full screen mode and you can exit it by uh, pressing the escape button on your keyboard. And if you want to share your analysis or save it as a picture you can click the camera button on the top right of the screen. You can either use a link to share the screenshot of the chart or you can save the picture as a file on your computer and send, that, send it as a file. Um, then you have the time frames on the top left on the screen and you can add whatever time frame you like to have on your time frame bar. On MetaTrader the time frames are fixed but on TradingView you can add whatever time frame you like. Use the favorite button to modify the time frame bar 
and to always have the right time frames that you are using in your bar. Um, then you have the button on the right side of the time frames where you can select how you want to look at the chart. I only use candles to look on my chart but you have a bunch of different chart types that you can select as well but you don't need them. Candles are enough. Mm, then you have the replay feature where you can backtest the strategy. I'm not using this tool so you don't need it but is it is a cool feature to replay different scenarios. Um, then you can set alerts to get push notification on your smartphone. This this only works when you have the TradingView app on your smartphone. You can add an alert by making a right click on the chart and then add alert. Or you can simply click on the add alert button on the top. Mm. Whenever you change something by mistake or delete something by mistake, you can use these buttons here to replay your drawings. And that's all you need to know about TradingView and how to use it. And yeah, I hope this was helpful. Mm, thank you for your time. See you in the next video. Peace.